the fundamental place you have to start at in this whole problem is the realization that it's not preventing the forest from burning, but when the forest will burn. The one thing we know from many different studies, many different fire histories is in these drier forests, the forest will inevitably burn. And if you realize that, you have two choices. You either can have the fire on your terms where you decide when it's going to light, where the smoke is going to go, under what kind of conditions it's going to burn, and you can get a desirable ecological outcome. Or you can go down the other path of suppressing, 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 putting out the fire as much as you can, and eventually what's going to come out the other end is you're going to get fire, but you're going to get fire under the conditions you don't want it when the winds are blowing 50 miles an hour and the temperature is up over 100 degrees. We can solve the problem, and it's really this idea that we need to restore low severity surface fire in these systems, and, and that might take removing some trees before we can safely restore fire as a natural process. There is a carbon cost to that, right? We've got to cut down some trees, and we need to burn. And both of those things reduce the amount of carbon stored in the forest and put carbon back into the atmosphere. But our research here at the Tea Kettle Experimental Forest clearly demonstrates that when you do a prescribed burn, so a low severity surface fire, 10 years after the prescribed burn, the trees had pulled much more carbon out of the atmosphere than was emitted by that prescribed burn because it effectively helped free up some resources in the forest. And so while we have these upfront costs in terms of carbon from implementing management actions, there are some real long-term dividends that can be paid in terms of carbon as long as we always keep first and foremost retaining the large trees where most of the carbon is stored and then trying to structure the system such that we have this restoration of a natural process which is surface fire.